Hey everyone, it's Ivan with kitbadger.com out here for another gear review. And today we're talking bipods, this guy right here, which is the kickstand by Q. What is it? What does it do? How does it work? What's special about it? All that stuff. Well, it's a bipod and being made by Q, the idea of lightweight and minimalist. So this bipod is actually the Q-cert version. And I think it weighs like 8.6 pounds, pounds. 8.6 ounces, so pretty lightweight, and the idea of hunting, so a minimalist hunting bipod. To deploy it, you basically pull forward, goes down, there's your first position, that angle right there, this being a reference, and then pull it, go forward, and then you can, of course, just come out and all the way down to there. As far as how high it is, I wanna say it's just over seven inches, and then extends out to almost 10 inches as far as the length you have on there. And it is, like I said, just minimalist. Right here, you grab it, quarter turn, go in, come out however far, quarter turn, locks it, pretty easy to use. And yeah, it is just that, minimalist, lightweight bipod. So how have I actually used this thing? Well, I haven't actually hunted with this. I have done a lot of shooting with it and actually used it kind of in a analog to hunting. The first kind of most use I've got out of this was one, largely just shooting it on this as a host gun, which really nice and light. This is my mini fix by Q. This happens to have a carbon fiber six arc barrel I got from Tag Firearms. And on here we have the half Nelson, Leopold X5 HD, three to 15 by 44, second focal plane, really nice light optic. That sling, all this stuff, and pretty much in this configuration, like minus a mag, looking at a nine pound gun. So again, keeping everything light. And so the first place I actually put in a fair bit of time with this bipod was shooting the high angle rifle training out at Thunder Ranch. And it did a good job for me, shooting it both just static, proned out, largely just gathering data and stuff with this gun, and then actually going up on top of one of the mountains there and doing a bunch of shooting down, figuring out different positions on pretty much whatever we had, across rocks, anything like that, and shooting and getting those hits. Yeah, baby! And fast forward most recently, I actually used this setup in a NRL hunter match. I was actually shooting in the skills division because this doesn't meet the spec for basically power factor spec for the like main match, either the light or heavy division, but got to go shoot this in the skills division. And first of all, those are really hard matches, really fun, but not easy. And this did a good job for me there. I used it in a number of different shooting positions because again, everything's kind of off of largely natural terrain. And so there are places where I would prone out and actually use this or also things where I was kind of using this to shoot off of some sort of train, rock, something along those lines. And yeah, I've been really happy with it. Again, minimalist, lightweight, and in my experience with it, have I come across anything I don't care for? Yes, and keep in mind sample size of one. There's this nut back here, which basically tightens everything down. And this does actually have some movement. And personally, I want movement in there. What I noticed is the more this moves, kind of the more this gets loose. And then eventually you can basically hand tighten this thing. And so one, I would like either some sort of jam nut, which I might experiment with, or you know what I might even do is get some sort of like gasket material or even leather for that matter, like a thin piece of leather and basically put it in there as a washer. So when I crank this thing down, I get movement that I want, but not too much. And I'll probably actually even put a little bit of Loctite on there. So crank this thing down as much as I want on again, some sort of kind of gasket material. So there is friction there, get the right amount and just leave it. Because I find if I do a bunch of shooting with this and I'm constantly manipulating it, it gets loose, looser than I would like. And then I have to make sure that this is actually tight so that this thing doesn't back off. Again, I can't speak for other ones. 
in sample size of one. Things I've, well, modified in a way of speaking. Personally, I think QCERT is honestly, it's my favorite attachment method. I understand right now it's largely proprietary to Q because making this is not an easy process and they figured out how to do it. But ultimately it's lighter than MLOC, at the same time more rigid and way more secure. For something to come out, you basically have to rip this rail in half because these are metal inserts pressed into the aluminum. Having said that, I love QCERT because one, it's not a blind, blind nut like MLOC. And so while they do actually make this in an MLOC version, this one's QCERT, which is great, but comma, not a lot of QCERT guns or rails out there comparatively. So my buddy actually over at Sawtooth Rifles makes this adapter plate. It's pretty cool. It is for the QCERT. They also make one for MLOC too. And what it does is basically allows you to take your kickstand and then using a really right stuff, pretty sure really right stuff mount, attaches it to your kickstand. I get it, we're adding weight. The point of this is being lightweight. I understand that. I also understand that bipod, not cheap, and this allows me to shoot it on this with this arc rail, adjust it anywhere I want it, or I can take this off, put it on any other gun with an arc rail, or the way this is set up, any gun with a piece of pick rail, which is awesome because generally only shooting one gun at a time, and this opens the door for me to very easily move this back and forth between host guns, which I think is actually really valuable. I really appreciate that this is kind of the lightest, most streamlined setup you can get, especially if you're directly mounting it to a mini fix or a fix with QCERT. It is great. I do like actually having it now on this adapter plate, which I've just started playing with because I can actually move it back and forth between host guns because not cheap. Made here in the US, machined, all that good stuff. He treated stainless steel, clear anodized aluminum, all that. I want to say price-wise, a little over 300 bucks. Again, not cheap, but does a good job for me. I mentioned that one thing I ran into, which I'm going to kind of mess around with a shim material and then probably a little bit of Loctite so that I get the amount of wiggle that I want to be able to rotate that some if I'm trying to set up and I'm on uneven terrain. But... Generally speaking, I've been really pleased with it. If it is something you're interested in, there'll be a link down below and you can go check it out. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.